viewer Steven is red shorts and he's doing Taekwondo and Hong Jia Hungar and all this other stuff. So that's viewer. He is in red and he is doing Taekwondo and Hong Jia Hungar. He's done a lot of martial arts. He's like the British version of me. So I wanted to feature him. It's been a while. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Classic Hungar type close range, trapping range, but actually making it work, right? The Wing Chun people would drool at this. His stance, Steven's stance, by the way, Steven's stance is more Taekwondo with a flair of kickboxing and MMA, right? He's done it all, but he's kept a lot of the trapping stuff from Hong Jia, aka Hungar. And look at that unorthodox blocking and parrying and trapping. His opponent's name is Tommy Gibralt. Ooh, catch the leg. Tommy is a classic MMA guy. He trains at Sheffield MMA. So it's an unorthodox MMA type training versus like a, your orthodox MMA training. Steven is, he's, look at that. He put his lead hand on Tommy's head. So he, he almost kind of has a long guard. And he's also the way shorter guy in this. So, also, guys, Tommy was the favorite in this, just so you guys know. So, Steven, he told me that even he thought he was going to lose this fight, but he just decided, you know what, let's try and implement everything that I've learned. So, I believe the first thing Steven ever did was Muay Thai, I believe. I interviewed him, so I will have his interview up soon. So, obviously, this clinch trapping ring Steven shines in, but... We're going to see later. He actually gets taken to the ground. I've watched some of this because I've wanted to feature Steven. I just haven't had a chance. So I finally interviewed him. I'm like, I got to feature him here. So in the clinch range, look at that. Good head movement by Steven. Look at that. He's, he's fainting and Tommy's reacting. Oh, that was not a good clinch exchange. So Tommy got the... Best of that one. Lead kick, lead hand type combos I've been seeing. You see that? Steven with his lead kick, lead hand. Same side combos. There's a lot of training of that in certain styles. I'm sure Hungar has that kind of stuff. So nice. Again, um, that was his dominant side. Oh, nice there. Over the top. Another one over the top. Look at that. He's not afraid to fight in the clinch, right? The issue with a lot of the trapping range is that if you're afraid to fight in the clinch or you actually don't know how to take a hit in the clinch, a.k.a. you don't know how to tank hits in the clinch, you're not going to make trapping range work. So that's the second round, man. Good job, Steven. So here's round three. Look at that. Steven with a high Taekwondo kick. Sticking with his bladed stance. He's been connecting... With leg kicks, by the way, guys, you see, you can use Taekwondo correctly if you kick to the legs, man. Look at that. Okay, I, I use the word subjectively. Shouldn't say correctly. I should just say you um, you can use Taekwondo effectively, maybe it's the right word. I mean, there's no such thing as correct. If you want to use it to look cool, there's other ways of using it. So, this fight will go to the ground soon. I will skip over the ground section because not too much goes on, but... He's got what's called high C-R-O-T-C-H. And Tommy's got that on Steven. And let's see if Steven can get out of this. Steven's sort of hitting at the body. Not a bad idea. Just got to watch his hips. And then it goes to the ground. So we will skip over the ground section. Eventually, Steven, you see, kind of does a technical stand-up out of it. And then it goes back to standing. It's about a minute left. Steven with the one two. Look at his hands low. Look at that kick. Making Tommy always think twice about coming in, right? Look at Tommy. Very, very good side kick by Steven. Tommy very, very um tired now. That was a two punch that landed. Oh, look at that. Some more trapping range punches by Steven. Notice that when Steven throws his one, his jab, 
he comes back and grabs. So he's not just doing a one, two. He's doing a one sort of grab, trap, whatever, two. So that must come from his Hongjia, his Hungar. Look at that. He connected with that kick. More clinch range fighting. Very telegraph kick, but it's still connected. Look at that. He's got him. Ooh, almost ate a knee. Ooh. So I think that's it. That was it, man. So eventually, guys, Steven did get the victory. This is the league, and these are the two people. This is Steven, our viewer. So everyone, thank you, Steven, for putting yourself out there. So I just interviewed viewer Steven, and the talk will come out on Fight Commentary Chats. So definitely go follow that. Also, I will put the league and Steven's channel here so you guys can follow. Okay, guys, Fight Commentary Breakdowns out. A lot more to come.